back to my channel so today i'm going to be uploading the long awaited barbie house tour so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please leave a like make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's get into it so this house isn't actually a barbie house it's a kid craft house and i haven't finished completely decorating it yet but i have got a video up showing you guys how i made it over to this point because i basically just painted it all white and i absolutely love it i got it from a charity shop and it's really sturdy and it's a good size for this family but this is the first bedroom that i'm going to be showing you this is the bedroom of amy and alice so as you can see it's quite tidy at the moment because I tidied it before this video. Here we have their TV and then over here we have Alice's two rocking horses and a ball pit. This is where the girls sleep. They both have a squishmallow on their bed each and they sleep on a bunk bed. This is quite a low ceiling so when I age Amy up to nine I won't be changing her doll because she won't sit in her bedroom if she's much taller than a Chelsea. That's the only drawback but other than that I love the size of this room. Here is their wardrobe which doesn't have anything in it because I don't keep clothes in the wardrobes, I keep them in my storage. Then down here we have Amy's slippers and Amy's desk where she does all of her homework and her schoolwork basically. And then here we have Amy's Barbie toys. So she has the dream plane. This is the mini Barbie land dream plane, by the way. She has this car, which is Hot Wheels, and the van, which is also Hot Wheels. And fun fact, I have that van in the full size as well, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to put a Barbie dream house in here, but I'm going to have that as a present for her birthday. That's why she hasn't got one yet. If you go downstairs, you have this balcony area with this swing, which I don't really use. I just put archie's swing in there for now if you know the history of my channel then you know this swing is iconic but anyway over here we have jess and luke's bedroom this really needs decorating as well guys but for now i just have their bed in here with pillows and their blanket their bed is from the rainbow high mansion which i used to use for my videos over here they have a fireplace with a lamp on it and then there's just some makeup and jewellery accessories on there that belong to Jess. This is Luke's Vans Off The Wall backpack which is amazing for travel. I sometimes use it for Ryan's family too. It is so good for storage and it works really well for holiday videos. So I just put it there for now. And then this is Archie's little bed that he sleeps in at night. Moving in to Archie's bedroom which is just off of Jess and Luke's. It's a very small room but he's not actually in it yet, he still shares with his parents so it doesn't really matter but he has his rocking chair in here which the parents use to get him to sleep and he has Peter Rabbit wallpaper as you can see and this is his cot with a changing table. Now we move into my bathroom which is actually one of my favourite rooms in the whole house. Starting off we have the Barbie Fizz bath with the accessories on this little tray so this is really good for relaxation and over here we have this little shelf which is from tiger and this just holds some bathroom accessories on it so up the top is luke's razor then we've got some always pads some batiste dry shampoo regular shampoo some of archie's baby lotion a foot spa and archie's baby bath which is so adorable it's a little whale shape then we have the sink and full length mirror and then up here we have all of the toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, face wash and hairbrush. This is the toilet. And then we have the staircase. I absolutely love this staircase. It's one of my favourite features of this house because it just looks so good in routine videos. But coming off to the right of the staircase, we have Amelia and Madison's room, which they share at different times. So this is the sleeping area up here. So they have a pillow, a squishmallow and a little eel. And then this is supposed to be a work desk, so they can use that for homework, university work or whatever they want. Then down here, there's another squishmallow. This is one from McDonald's though, so it's slightly bigger. And this backpack, which I believe would be Amelia's. And then there's a dog bed in here and a pair of shoes.
Then we have the vanity area and storage because Amelia is obviously coming up to be a preteen and Madison is obviously a young woman so she has makeup and stuff. So that's why I decided to put the dressing table in this room but I did cover it with marble contact paper and I really like how it turned out. The little drawer that's on the desk which is here is actually from the mini brands home series the mini brands home stuff's really nice but it's just so small so i just pretend that's like a little jewelry box or something like that and then to the side of that we have this ladder shelf which just has some plants on it a ipod, iPod dock thing an angel hired doll miniature and a diffuser and then downstairs in the living room, we have the giant TV, which was in my charity shop haul. And at the bottom of that, there is a clock. And then you've got some printed on details here and a fireplace. I believe this is from the Barbie 60th anniversary dream house originally. And then over here is the wallpaper. I love this wallpaper so much because it's palm trees and it just reminds me of summer and going on holiday. And then they have a table in the room, which is Archie's changing area with a baby monitor, some spare nappies and some wipes. This is the sofa, which is from the Rainbow High Mansion. I love this sofa. It's an amazing accessory and just looks so realistic. And it is actually a little bit squishy. I don't know if you can see on camera. And then Archie's baby bouncer is down there. Next to the TV, we have this box, which is just filled with spare baby bottles rattles and teddy bears and just toys basically for the younger two here we have luke on the stairs so i'm just going to move him and then if you go over here you can see the pet area it's a bit difficult to see because the stairs are in the way and i can move them up a little bit so you can see better so there's a dog area and a cat area but obviously we don't have a cat in the role play at the moment but that's rover's bed and bowl basically in there then we have the kitchen unit so in this drawer it's just filled with knives and forks the same with that drawer and then this cupboard has basically stuff for cooking in so we've got cooking bowls pots and pans plates that kind of thing in there and on the top of the worktop we've got the coffee machine the toaster the baby sterilizer and this which is from the mini brand home um series it again and then down here there's another cupboard which is just filled with all the non-perishables so that is things like tins we've got some spam some soups some beans that kind of stuff in there which the dolls will use for cooking up here we've got the oven which does really open this is from the rainbow high house in case you guys were wondering here we've got the hob area obviously and this area and it has this massive drawer on the bottom which you could store things in as well if you wish to the same with the freezer i don't really use this part but you could definitely store things in there if you wanted to up here is the american style fridge which still has a picture of archie's scan on it but inside the fridge this is where all of the food is mainly kept that needs to be refrigerated so we have as do mini brands, drinks and all of that. The main place that I get my Barbie food from is either with the Barbie play sets, mini brands from places like B&M or Entertainer, Miniverse, but I don't really buy them that much because they are expensive or just from random sets that I find or sometimes even car boot sales. So that's where all of my food is from. Then here we have the washing machine. I love this washing machine. If you press this button, it really spins it's so cool on top of the washing machine there is some cleaning products and washing powders and all of that and detergents and then to the side of that is alice's high chair and that is a tour of jess and luke's house i would just like to say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for twenty five thousand subscribers that's amazing I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. And until next time, we will see you soon. Bye, guys.